Hey guys, it's Elena. Welcome back to my channel. So this week is something pretty special. I found this beautiful bed sheet from the thrift store and I just had a vision for it. And so I'm gonna turn it into a dress and walk you through everything that I did. So once I had washed and dried my fabric, I went ahead and took it and folded it in half and started cutting out my skirt pieces. So I wanted to use that pretty bottom floral and black stripe as the bottom of my skirt. So I'm just cutting out a big long line of my skirt panel and then I'm just cutting that in half. And the part on the right is going to be my front panel since it's on the fold. And then the piece on the left will be my left back panel and then my right back panel since it's folded in half. And then I am just cutting out my bodice pieces. This is my front piece on the fold. You'll just go ahead and cut out two back pieces, some sleeves, and some pockets as well. This is a pattern that I just have traced from another pattern that I just like the general shape of it. So once you've cut everything out, this is what you'll need. A front bodice, two back pieces, two sleeves, four pockets, one skirt front, and two skirt back panels. So I did want this dress to be a little bit more fancy, and so I wanted darts. And I wanted to make these and just fit them to myself and so I'm kind of going off of um, a different pattern piece that I have but I'm just kind of winging it <laughs> this doesn't have to be super exact I think the most important thing is just to be consistent and to try it on to make sure it fits so I just kind of measured up I think like five inches or so pinched it in the same amount on both sides and then just made it symmetrical and then I'm doing the exact same thing for the two back panels. Once your darts have been pinned and you like how it fits, you can go ahead and just sew them all. So I like to fold my garment right sides together and have that fold be where the dart is and then you'll sew on and then literally just like pop off and then it will just look super nice. I love how darts turned out and these turned out really nice as well. So once you have finished all of the darts, you can go ahead and put all of the bodice pieces together. So you're going to pin along the shoulder seams and the side seams and then you can go ahead and sew all those pieces together. Next up are sleeves. So I have two sleeves and they're a little bit wider at the shoulder and this is on purpose. I wanted there to be a little tiny gather, a little puff. And so I did a long gathering stitch at the top of each sleeve shoulder and I'm just kind of yanking that so that it will gather. If you want a more in-depth tutorial on gathering, I do have a video that I will link. But once you have done that, you can go ahead and pin the sleeve together, right sides together, and then sew along that bicep part. And then here I am, I'm just pulling on that fabric to get that nice little gather at the shoulder. Usually how I like to insert sleeves is I like to have both the sleeve and the bodice right sides out. It's usually easier for me to start that way. 
I will nest the side seams and then flip it wrong side out and then go ahead and continue pinning all the way around the armhole. That's usually easiest for me and then I always suggest to put it right sides out one more time before you sew it just to make sure that you've put it on the right way. I've messed that up before so don't make the same mistake. Um, so yeah, then you can go ahead and sew all the way around using your normal seam allowance. And next thing is the skirt. So this is a pretty easy skirt and of course I wanted pockets in it, right? So I checked the length first and cut anything off the top because the bottom is already hemmed and so I'm going ahead and taking my pockets and putting them right sides together to the front piece and then also I did the back piece and then you can go ahead and just secure those pockets to each panel and then once you have secured all four pocket pieces put all of your skirt panels together. So I usually try to line up the top and the bottom and try to nest the seams as best I can and then pin all the way around the rest of the pocket and then down the skirt. At this point, you only want to do the side seams since we are putting in a pocket. You don't have to worry about that back opening just yet. When you do sew all the way around, make sure that when you get to any corners, you are pivoting. That will make your life a lot easier and also it will turn out a lot better and more clean and professional looking. Once all your pockets are in, you can put in the gathering stitch at the top. I thought about doing pleats, but I am a sucker for gathering. If you have watched any of my other videos, you know I love a good gather. So I am doing two super long basting stitches at the top of this super long skirt panel. And then once I have done two rows of stitches, I'm just going to pull on the top strings to gather it. Again, I do have video on this if you want a little bit more instruction on that. At this point, it's important to make sure that you like the fit of everything because now is the time to make any changes. So I, for instance, went ahead and took in about a half inch to an inch on both sides of the bodice. And then I also shortened the bodice a little bit because I have like the shortest waist ever. Then you can pin the skirt to the bodice right sides together and then just secure it with a normal straight stitch. Once you've tried it on, at this point, you can also make any adjustments to the sleeve. My sleeves are always way too long for me, so I just trimmed off a couple inches. So at this point, it's time to finish off the neck of the dress. If you go back and look at the picture from the very beginning of this video, you can see that I cut out two of all of the bodice pieces and that was for a couple different reasons. <laughs> so I cut out the front bodice and the back bodice pieces and then realized that the lines weren't totally symmetrical. So I was like, okay, no problem. I will just use it as a lining. So then it came time to put the lining and the front together. I literally had already put all the darts in, in the lining and I kind of like pin it together, go out to talk to my husband and he's like, you can, you can see the stripes on the other side. So then what I did was I cut out a neck facing, like just a little like 
chunk to go here. Painted that on, realized that it was still see-through, nothing changed. So, the thing that I came up with to do is to use like a bias tape. So I cut out a little strip of fabric and ironed it, folding it in a couple times. I'll show you how to do it. And I used that instead. And honestly, I think it looks really nice. So here is that piece of bias tape. What I'm doing is I'm folding it in half, ironing it, and then folding in each side in half towards the center. So it's kind of like a double folded bias tape, except the fabric matches perfectly. And to get the length, I just measured around the neck holes and then added a few inches just to be safe. And I think I made mine about three inches wide so that it would be kind of a very narrow bias tape. But I'm gonna wait to put that on until my zipper is in. So I am doing an invisible zipper. I have an invisible zipper foot and so this actually goes pretty easily for me. I usually pin on my left side. I will match up the skirt waist seam and pin on the other side as well at the same time and then just go ahead and sew my zipper on. I have a whole tutorial just on invisible zippers. It's really super helpful and so you can go ahead and watch that if you want more instruction there. After my zipper is in, it's time to put on the bias tape. So I just found the center of the bias tape and found the center front of my bodice and pinned it together. I opened up the bias tape and then pinned it on. And then I just went and pinned it all the way around. And then I went on to sewing and securing it on. So for the ends, I just trimmed off the excess Fold it in about a quarter of an inch and then just started sewing in that first fold. And I went and did that all the way around and finished the other end off the exact same way that I started it. So this is what it looked like after I have done my first seam. It looks really nice and finished. This is what it looks like when you fold it over. So what I'm going to do is fold it over all the way around and then just pin it down. And I am making sure that the fold is covering that back seam so that it will catch when I st stitch, so that it will catch when I do my stitch in the ditch seam like I am here on the front. That way you can't really see the seam, but it's still securing it on both sides. Now the only raw edge left to finish is our sleeves. So I am a sucker for double folded hem, so that's what I'm doing here. I'm just making it very narrow, like about a quarter of an inch. Um, so I'm using my iron to fold it in twice. I'm pinning it and then I just go ahead and then I just sew all the way along to secure it and do try to make your seam allowance as small as possible. I find that that makes it look a lot more professional when you're done. So 
So the final step is to secure a button to the top of our dress. You could also do hook and an eye, but I honestly have a hard time making those look nice. So I usually just go with a button and don't mind my jewelry pliers. I don't like using thimbles and so I usually just use pliers to get it through the thick fabric. And then I also created a thread button loop so that it could go around and be nice and secure. I also have a video tutorial for that if you'd like a refresher. But once you have completed that little button detail, you are done. I am kind of shocked that this turned out so nicely. This is how I imagined it in my head when I was at the thrift store, but you never know how projects are gonna turn out, right? But I'm really happy with how this came out. I am really happy with the pockets and the color and honestly how symmetrical I was able to get everything. I just think it's so cute. I like the fit and I think it was a great use of a bed sheet that probably wasn't going to be used any other way. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you really enjoyed and I'll see you next time.